Thanks for watching Coin Collecting Fun, the king of hobbies and the hobby of kings. Hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and is greatly appreciated. And after this video is over, check out the link below this video in the description section to see a cool coin from the Philippines. That video currently has over 2,000 likes. Let's see if we can get that video to over 5,000 likes. Again, the link is below this video in the description section to a cool coin from the Philippines. Also, that video has over 2,900 comments. Let's get that video to over 5,000 comments. Again, the link is below this video in the description section to see a cool coin from the Philippines. And finally, that video has over 62,000 views. Let's get that video to over 100,000 views. Again, the link is below this video in the description section to a cool coin from the Philippines. If you enjoy this type of content, crush the like button, crush the subscribe button, and if you do decide to subscribe, tap the notifications bell to be notified of future coin collecting fun videos just as soon as they're uploaded to YouTube. And be sure to share this video with all your coin collecting friends out there. So here is an amazing and beautiful 2020p Jefferson Nickel return to Monticello. 785 million, 500,000 were produced. This coin was minted at the Philadelphia Mint and was designed and engraved by Felix Schlag. The metal composition is 75% copper and 25% nickel. This is an alloy coin with a mixture of those two metals together. The diameter is 21.2 millimeters and this coin's weight is 5 grams. The face value is 5 cents. The numismatic value is also 5 cents for one found in average circulated condition, but can be worth as much as 27 cents for one found in uncirculated mint state 60 condition, and can be worth as much as 55 cents for one found in brilliant uncirculated MS-65 condition. And that is at the time of this video production, which is December 9th, 2021. Also, the melt value of this coin is higher than the face value of the coin currently. Uh, the last time I checked, uh, it looked like it was around six cents, but it is illegal currently to melt this coin down. And plus, having this in coin form would make this easy to identify bullion if you were to ever uh, want to sell this for more than face value down the road if metal prices were to go way up and the coins metal value far exceeded the face value. So that's definitely something to keep in mind and that's what I like about coins where the uh, metal values have risen to the point or the uh, condition of the coin and the age have risen to the point where they exceed the face value of the coin and I just think to myself, why in the world would anybody ever want to melt that down? Because not only do you have a work of art, you have an investment. And it's easy to identify that investment if it's kept in the coin form. So you have a beautiful work of art that's always going to be worth something and probably uh, most likely go up in value in the future. So we are currently enjoying the front of the coin, or you can call this the obverse of the coin, or simply heads where we see Thomas Jefferson, absolutely wonderful image of Thomas Jefferson, and God we trust, the word liberty in Jefferson's own handwriting and the minute year of 2020. That is when this coin was created. And then just below the minute year of 2020, the mint mark P, that represents the Philadelphia, Pennsylvania mint. That is where this coin was created. So absolutely beautifully designed, uh, also very well set up as far as where they have things printed on the coin. And I just love seeing that word liberty in Jefferson's own handwriting. That's just absolutely amazing that that's been captured and uh, minted onto this coin. It's absolutely beautiful. So when this coin was struck, it was struck with the word liberty with Jefferson's very own handwriting. So amazing image, great art great artwork. That's that's what these coins are, works of art, they're investments, and it's just a fun hobby to get into all around. So now that we've enjoyed the front of the coin, the obverse of the coin, or you can call this head simply, let's switch this over to tails. 
So you can call that tails, uh, the reverse of the coin, or simply the back of the coin, where we see a beautiful design right in the center of the coin, Monticello, which is a large home Jefferson built for himself. And then you can see at top the uh, E Pluribus Unum, five cents down there. And then at the very lower portion of the coin, you can see the words United States of America. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And again, check out the link below this video in the description section to see a cool coin from the Philippines. Again, that video now has over 2,000 likes. Let's see if we can get that video to over 5,000 likes. Again, the link is below this video in the description section to a cool coin from the Philippines. I am so thankful for your likes. And literally last month, a little over a month ago, this past November 6th, that video had over 900 likes after being posted for over three years which is a lot of likes, and I was very thankful to have received over 900 likes. However, the very next day, for some reason, and I'm so grateful this happened, November 7th, 2021, the very next day, the video went from literally a little over 900 likes to over 2,000 likes, like in one day, or less than one day, because I might have checked it in the evening at one point and then checked it in the morning the next day. So, <clears throat> absolute, oh, excuse me, absolutely amazing that the video jumped up that much in likes. Thank you so much for your likes if, our, if you've already left a like on that video. And we're always uh, welcoming your comments. Love to see your comments. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a great day.